Welcome to The Hump. This week we're talking intimacy. So this week, while we're talking intimacy, let's talk to the gorgeous Julius. He I'm, knows a lot. I'm feeling very intimate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving along, we have Sophie and of course, Jace at the end. Hi. So what's happening in the news? Live Performance Australia have slammed the federal budget as underfunding performing arts to the extent that they say some thousands of jobs could be threatened. This is one to watch. Meanwhile, here at CX, we have a brand new layout which is here. In this issue, you will read about an interesting job at Barangaroo, Melbourne Comedy Festival, there's installation news, regulars like Industry Women, Duncan Fry. We've got all the usual stuff, product reviews, Roby Viva, Showcase M8. We've got a whole lot of interesting product news. It's all here. Check it out. Designed for smaller and mid-sized projects and venues, M8.2 offers advanced functionality with outstanding ease of use. Full tracking backup is available via plug-and-play networking. The Dot 2 range is suitable for most theater, touring, corporate, television, and education lighting environments. Discover the free Dot 2 on PC software and the free Dot 2 3D visualization software. Test it for yourself. Welcome back. We're talking intimacy. Yes. Ooh. So mm -hmm. We are very intimate with each other. <laughs> we are. And we have known each other for quite some time. We should have been sitting closer for this segment. We can't. It's okay. like all sort of... <laughs> Seto, If I go to, um, to see a show, I get frustrated if I'm, I have seats that are way up the back and I mm. tend to watch the show on the screen. I think uh, I, I may as well have just stayed at home. Mm. Although being at a performance is like there's the atmosphere. Mm. But um, being closer to the performer makes you feel like you're actually there. I don't know, that's mm. just probably me and I should get an early and buy better tickets. <laughs> <laughs> no, you like being intimate with yeah. the performer. If you're yeah. paying for that experience. That's to see them and not just to watch it on the screen. Mm. Yeah, so. you might as well do that on TV at home. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So what do you think? How do you flirt? How do I flirt? Yeah. <laughs> Julius <laughs> is curious. Okay. I told you I get drunk. <laughs> and then I don't know. How do you flirt? I don't. Okay, all right. He's got his woman now. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> oh, well, well, I used to flirt before I was married, guys. So that's it, it's over. Um, and I would do that at a bar and oh, I no. would pretend. I, I kind of like a bit of sport, but I would watch the sport by myself or doled up. And then guys would come up to me and be like, oh, you like the sport? It's a strategy. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> so, Chase, how do you flirt? I, I, I don't. I don't. Do you remember? I, 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 no, I've got nothing. I basically never recognised it in other people. I probably missed out on a lot of opportunities because of that. <laughs> I'd like to think I did. Anyway, um, no, I don't. No, it means nothing to me. Oh. I don't recognise when somebody's doing it. I've got, like, that part of my brain doesn't work. So how did you ever I meet a lady? I, I, we, I, we did. We, we talked. And, and you talked? We, and we got married. Well, I mean, not that night. You did. But you talked and got married. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was great. But anyway, uh, look, going back to intimacy, I mean, flirting is about intimacy. My favourite thing is intimate venues. I reckon all the best stuff mm. I've ever seen small. has been in really small rooms. Yeah. But by definition, theatre is, is intimate anyway, isn't well, it? Yeah, you can do it in some pretty big rooms. I mean, like... Well, um, 2,000 seats is pretty well it for a theatre. Yeah, yeah, it's about as big as they get, really. Yeah, yeah but and my favourite venues were always like the 300 seat yeah. theatres, because... Mm -hmm you get more interesting stuff happening in them and the performers are like right there. Mm. And plus you're breathing the same air. Yeah. 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 I kind of like that. Mm. You'd hear about some big performers that would do secret secret gigs mm. underground. Yeah. And Rolling I think that is the ultimate. More, it's yeah. intimate, it's live, it's personal. Prince at Bennett's Lane oh. in Melbourne, the tiny little jazz club. Yeah. I actually you got knew, in. No, I knew he was going to be there because of connections with the club. Why didn't and you go? Coming in. Because you're an old, just boring. Well, he was part, talking partly to that, his wife. Partly yeah. that, <laughs> and partly because we weren't meant to know that we were then, and we weren't meant to tell anybody. You and missed what's out. Just didn't go. Oh my Kicking gosh. myself. Yeah, didn't go. And yet that was a clue in, in your venue. face, and yeah. you still. Oh, Jason, yeah, I'm disappointed. I know. I know. Really really like he did it twice too. You? He did it twice, and I knew both times. Mm. You've got to stop talking now. <laughs> I feel really stupid now. <laughs> okay. I felt pretty um, dumb at the time. I think intimacy in, in the industry, it's, it's everywhere from mm. 
your mosh pit to backstage yeah. to being in the chorus. It mm -hmm. is very intimate when I've mm -hmm. been in a chorus before. Yeah. And if uh, you've been in a lift with 12 very smelly loaders, that's pretty intimate too. I just, yeah. I just, I hope you haven't been in the back of a truck because... Uh, no, not, not blindfolded. No, no. <laughs> you mean loading gear in and out? That gets that's what you want. That's what you want to believe. That's good. Right, moving along. I'm okay. sure we've got something else to talk about. Uh, we'll be back after that break. The Mackie DL32R is a powerful 32-channel digital mixer, completely controlled wirelessly from Mackie's intuitive Master Fader iPad app, freeing you to get in the mix like never before. The Master Fader control app is where everything happens. It's the most intuitive control app on the market, proven at more than 2 million live shows the world over. Download Master Fader for yourself to see it in action. Thanks for watching. The Martin Rush MH7 Hybrid is an all-in-one beam, spot and wash moving head. Its features include optics with three zoom modes, 2.2 to 15 degrees in beam mode, 2.5 to 24 degrees in spot mode and 15 to 45 degrees in wash mode. Fitted with a Philips Platinum 11R 250W 7800K lamp, the fixture also includes 8 rotating, indexing and 12 static gobos, 10 selectable colours and beam effects from its 8 facet circular and 4 facet linear prisms. And welcome back to The Hump. Now, uh, in one of our previous programs, we talked about who is responsible for excessive volume in a venue to the mm. extent where it becomes dangerous to people. And Tell uh, me you have the answer. No, I don't, oh. because I have a rather sad story here that somebody's actually sent us uh, on our Facebook page. Now, I'm going to remove all of the names of the venue, the band and the person, but uh, in essence, this is the message we received. Uh, my friend is in his 30s, he has three gigs, and he doesn't go to gig many gigs, if any. But his favourite band were playing at a venue and he had to go and see his favourite band at least once. That night he stood in the middle of the dance floor about 15 feet from the lead guitarist's amplifier. It was so loud his ears closed up immediately but he did not understand the damage he was doing and stood there for the entire gig as because he paid. And that night he made he realised he'd made a serious mistake. He now has permanent tinnitus. His head constantly screams a high pitch in his ears all the time. Mm. He's raising three boys on his own and he's not wealthy and his doctor's bills went through the roof. He looked for compensation from the venue? No. Banned? No. Even the state government? No. He's consulted lawyers and even they have said it was hopeless. Mm. So he's now permanently in pain 24-7 due to a belligerent guitarist blasting his amplifier into his legs and causing ir uh, ir irreparable damage to his punter's hearing. So, oh, that's such a sad story. lawyers have been involved and they seem to all be scrabbling around not knowing where to point the finger. Your Julius. problem is proof because who's, what's to say the guy didn't have the damage? A. B. Mm. You can't really measure it. Yeah, mm. it would have to be measured on the day, mm. yes. Mm. So, I can see from a legal standpoint where this becomes troubling. Yeah, cause However, so. on the other hand, if the venue had SPL logging, mm. then a, the venue will be liable. Mm. So why would they have SBL logging? Mm. 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 And it's not a requirement in this state. No. Mm. It's very, it's very great, as you said, like, did he have the start of that tinnitus anyway? Mm. Mm. Could it have happened? Like, when was it going to happen? Yeah. And then you mm. look at it, okay, so every time you sit, you go to a live show, do you, as the usher, just hand you earplugs? Mm. You, like, where do you start? Where do you stop? Like, how does, yeah, how do you We talked about this? it last, last yeah. month, didn't we? It's awful. And then, look, Brian Johnson from ACDC suddenly going off the road mm. because of potential irreparable damage. Well, it's, mm. it's real. It happens. And mm. far too many sound people mm. don't understand that. No. As for the guitarist, well, some guys just play loud. Mm. You know, it doesn't sound... I, don't, I can't imagine a guitar amp causing that much damage to somebody... From one event. One well, gig. I mm. can't imagine that. Mm. Mm. Okay. I mean, how loud is a guitar amp? Well, it depends on the guitar amp and where you're standing and what you know frequencies they've boosted. It's they can get pretty loud. Yeah. But um, I think it's probably more likely it was the PA than the guitar amp. Yeah. Yeah. Wish there was Sad. an answer here. It's but, not like turn your music down. Yeah, it's going to work. Yeah, I can see how you could consult quite a few lawyers and nobody really knows what to do with yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. All and right. Tinnitus. It. it 
people can commit suicide because yeah. it's so yeah, it's a horrible incredibly, condition. it just drives you insane. Yeah. It drives you nuts. It's just, yeah. it's, the, it's in your head. Yeah. Okay, well, on that happy no unhappy note, we're going to now move into something slightly more entertaining in uh, Gearbox. Now, Julius, you recently uh, moved into a new multi-storey house, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, how's your Wi-Fi situation? Patchy upstairs. Yeah, patchy. That's a, look, it's a common problem, and you can either address that by nipping down to your local computer shop or, or whatever and buying a sort of a Frankenstein rig made up of, you know, this wireless access point and, you know, this router or whatever, or you can do what we've done here and go with a sort of an off-the-shelf solution from Luxel. This is the XWS2510. So what you get when you buy a package like this is you get the wireless controller, you get two of the access points, and you get two of these uh, power over ethernet injectors. Now, if you've got a, I've actually got a power over ethernet switch here, which you could use, but this just uh, you know, showed off the whole package. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us this week on The Hump. I hope it was as good for you as it was for us. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>